They're wonderful people. I've been within the family uh, 22 years now, and you know, it's they were really great people, great parents, great grandparents. You know, I have no complaints about my. I just love them to death. So many people still reeling tonight after their loved ones' bodies were found inside their car in this Lehigh Acres canal. Now, neighbors near the crash site are wondering if the couple mistook the canal for part of the road. You can see in this dark nighttime video the headlights in the distance, and many wonder if they thought the road went straight through. This is called the Abel Canal. It's right off Third Street and North Avenue in Lehigh. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg, taking neighbors' concerns right to the county commissioner who represents this area to see if any changes can be made here to protect you and other drivers. Lisa? Right, Patrick and Amy. Commissioner Mann says he wants to make sure a thorough investigation is done and tells us the Department of Transportation is already reviewing the area. He agrees what happened at this can canal should never happen again, and he wants to be sure of it. You can see in this video headlights coming toward you, street lights in the distance, even a few mailboxes. You might be surprised if I told you this isn't a road that goes all the way through. There's a canal right through the middle. So at nighttime, if you're coming and you do not know that there's not, you know, a way to get to the other street, you're probably going to go straight ahead. You're not going to stop. And that's what Joanna Amaya thinks happened last week. This yellow sign is up, keeping drivers from ending up in the canal. But on Friday, Marie and Chester Aza's silver Dodge SUV was pulled out, their bodies inside. It's unbelievable, you know, what happened. It's surreal. And to see them go in such a tragic way is surely is sad. Alessandro Rivera shaken by the tragedy that took his mother and father in law away from him. Oh, they're devastated. You know, it's beyond devastation. It's, you know, really, it's truly, there's no words. Words he hopes no other family will have to search for. So Fox 4 took their concerns about the signage in the area to Commissioner Frank Mann. First, we showed him the video we showed you. I can't really make out where the canal is. The canal behind that yellow sign. When we told him yes. Well, how are how are cars coming from that side? But he said he needs to see the area in person to tell what changes, if any, need to be made. So we went along with him, pulling up in his silver truck, getting out, and taking a look for himself. Answering neighbors' questions. Wouldn't you think, instead of being right there, maybe should be back? I okay, think it's a, it's a discussion point. And uh, I think two of them, two is better than one. And yeah, up here. And man says he'll do what he can to prevent tragedies like the one that took this couple from happening again. No one knows yet for sure what happened here. Uh, but if signage improvement can make a difference, then I'm going to insist that that be done. Now, other roads leading up to the canal in this area have one or two red end of road markers to indicate the end before the canal. A Lee County spokesperson says this road has one yellow sign because it's a cul-de-sac just before the canal. She also says there's no record of any other crash here in the last 10 years. Live in the studio, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.